Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Hi, thanks for staying with us through the break. I wanted to find out, you know, what do you know about migraines? Well, I've got Dr. Alani. She's going to give us some information about this. Dr. Alani, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show Studios. Thank you so much, and thanks for talking about migraine today. Well, you know, I meet people who have suffered. I've, I've had headaches, and that I thought that would kill you. But people <laughs> say migraines, on oh, that's, that's a whole other planet. Tell us, what is a migraine? Is it not just a headache? So a migraine is when you're getting headache, but you're also having other symptoms. The lights and sounds are bothersome. You start to get irritable. You don't really want to be around people. Your stomach gets upset. You possibly might throw up. And you start to fear, realize that I, I'd rather be in a cave right now than around all these other people. And that's really what's a migraine. Dr. Jessica Alani is the director of MedStar Georgetown Head Center. Okay, so we've defined what the migraine is. How many people you think suffer from migraines? Do you have any statistics on that? So migraine is actually a very common disorder. Over 36 million Americans have episodes of migraine through their lifetime. There's a smaller group of people that suffer from what's called chronic migraine, and that's when you're having headaches more than 15 days a month, at least eight of which are migraine-like in nature. About 3.2 million Americans have chronic migraine, yet not more than 20% are actually diagnosed. So you can see this is a really big problem in this country, but we're not getting enough help to take care of it. Are there any new treatments on the horizon? Uh, because medicine is, is, is changing by leaps and bounds. Absolutely, and there's a lot of great therapies that are gonna come out in the next couple of years. Currently, for chronic migraine, there is an FDA-approved treatment, Botox, which is injections given every three months by your healthcare provider to try to reduce the frequency and severity of migraines. Botox can reduce the number of migraines you're having by eight to nine days less per month. There are some new exciting treatments that should be coming out sometime between next summer and next fall that are more targeted to treatment of migraines and chronic migraines, and we're really excited about this. I'm sure my listeners who suffer from this, I'm sure they're doing the happy dance, doctor. <laughs> Absolutely. Let me ask you, should, should they go to their, their physician uh, and, and say, look, I heard this interview. Can you tell me about some of these new treatments? Where do they start? So uh, it's a great question, and part of the reason why I'm here today, partnered with Allergan, is to give some advice to patients about how to have this conversation with their doctor. So the great first place to start is at home, keeping track of your headaches. Write down your symptoms, write down how often they're happening, write down what kind of medications you've tried before. Talk to your primary care provider and kind of see what, what options are available to you right now. If it's not something that's getting better or you feel like you and your, your primary care provider are kind of hitting a wall in your treatment, think about seeing a headache specialist. A headache specialist is someone who's certified and educated in taking care of patients with migraine and chronic migraine. Now your headache specialist is most likely gonna be the one who has all this information about these new treatment options coming out next year because they're gonna be part of the team that's been uh, put in place to help develop and promote these new types of medications. So if you think that you're at that point, you wanna see a he headache specialist, think about finding one in your area. That's great information. Dr. Alani, once again, where can my audience go online and get more information so that they can be armed to ask the right questions? So a great resource is BotoxChronicMigraine.com. They can link you with the right resources to ask the questions, and it can also link you to health, a health care provider or a headache specialist in your area to help you on your path to getting better. Dr. Jessica Alani, thank you so very much for this information. I'm looking at Facebook, and they are doing a happy dance. I, <laughs> I guarantee you that one. Yes, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thanks for having me today.